Chartable say that we've just hit a total of 700,000 available podcasts. The company monitors Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher and other podcast apps. And an interesting fact, our average lifespan in hours is also 700,000. YouTube's latest misstep is to allow unscrupulous people to upload maybe your podcast and fill them with advertising. We link to an example from our show notes in our newsletter today. Podcaster Helen Zoltzman successfully removed one, but now YouTube has shared her name with the copyright infringer who's now hassling her. Bravo, YouTube. The BBC's annual plan has been released. BBC Sounds, the corporation's UK-only audio app, is marked as one of the four priorities over the next 12 months. It's been downloaded 1.8 million times so far and has 1 million weekly users. They also plan to add more podcasts for younger audiences, more podcast accompaniments to TV shows and more from Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. A new podcasting conference for women is being crowdfunded on Kickstarter. She Podcasts Live will take place in Atlanta, Georgia in the US on October the 11th to the 13th. The NAB show in Las Vegas in early April has more podcasting presence than ever before. Speakers Rob Greenlee has tweeted all the podcast sessions at the event and will be there as well and would like to meet if you are too. Podcast host Simplecast has unveiled a new podcast distribution and analytics platform, which includes clipping for social media, granular analytics and one-click distribution to multiple platforms. The company has also put support for PubSub Hubbub Live after our piece last week, allowing podcast listeners on supported platforms to see new episodes as soon as they're published. The company has also raised five million US dollars in funding. If you do a daily news podcast every day, what do you learn? ABC News' Brad Milkey has posted a piece all about that. One lesson learned, talk like a freaking person. And Jacobs Media has published their Tech Survey 2019, a survey of radio fans across North America. The Spreaker live show interviewed Fred Jacobs about it.